Morning everybody, Rusty from the Rusty Razor, got another shave of the day, and today we're going to be doing Sterling Citron. I'm in a lemon scent week, I guess. Hmm, man, that smells good. Yep. Hmm. It's like just the other day, I was like using some lemon pledge all over my uh, furniture, and it was like, got a lot of wood stuff, and I was like wiping it down, getting the dust off it, I was like... <sighs> smells just as good. Yep. All right, then we're going to use the London Bridge Blades. Is this the third? Third? Yeah, I think it's the third use. I have to think here for a second. And then we got the Gillette Slim 1964, the year of my birth. This was my grandfather's razor, which is kind of interesting. And we'll follow it up with a wee bit of uh, Citron Splash. It's starting to go down. I don't use a lot of... It's like, I don't know if you ever noticed. I don't use a lot of splash. It's like I use enough to get that scent on me. And the lemon... The, the citrus scents don't last very long. They get there, but they're not there very much. Alright. Hope everybody's day is going alright. Me? I'm in pain. Yeah. If you watched my last video, the... Well, the ceiling fan up there, and I'm going to turn it on. You can hear it, but it's not as loud. It adds a lot of light. Okay. And the other one is like you turn it on and be like, rah, 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 and it's like, sound like a coffee grinder that's uh, dying or something. So, yeah, had to replace it. My wife is like in there, he's like, this is sounding really bad. I was like, yeah, I know. I was like, you should replace it. Yeah, I know. But you're not going to be helping me, are you? Oh, no. You could do it. I'm like, oh, yeah, I've done it before. And, oh, boy. What a... It's like, I grabbed everything I thought I needed. I looked at the, the, the case. That's, you know, the metal case, you know, where the, the fans hit. It's like, okay, I need this screwdriver I need this screwdriver and I'm looking through all the stuff I need make sure I carry it all with me and so, okay I need a hammer because I know that the other old one in there I I put a nail in at least one nail in it's like a little trippy I'm, I think I'm channeling Jeffrey Smith but uh so you think you got everything. It's like, you look, you double check, triple check. It's like, yep, yeah, I think I got everything. And it's like, I got my electrical tape, you know, because I want to make sure everything doesn't slide around and get loose because of vibration. Yeah. So I go up there, crawl all the way up there. And it's like, okay, I got my hammer, got my nails. Pull the old one off, put the new one back in the place, and I go to, it's like, couldn't get my, the darn thing that come out. It's like, ooh, I, I hammered this end way too well. Oh, crap. <laughs> so, crab walk is like, I'm in the middle of the house, so it's like, if you've seen the picture from the last video, I had to crawl by halfway through the house through the attic, which is not an easy thing because you're basically uh, just like eh, 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 crawling around. It's like you're, imagine doing squats, but walking. Yeah, as you go from one stud to the next. Or joist, you're going across. Yeah. Well, I had to go back downstairs. Go get my bar, wrecking bar there. Got in there and was like, ah, all right, got it. I literally bent that thing around to get it out. Got the nails out and was like, yeah, all right. Go to start installing. I put the new box over and then I realized Oh man, there's about that much gap around the 
the old, where the old box was, where the new one is. The new box is slightly smaller. Like, I have to go back downstairs. I gotta seal this up. Crap. <laughs> like, oh man. So, crawl back all the way back out and I uh, start crawling because it, it's just a small little, little hole, you know, that's uh, in the ceiling in my the back bedroom, which is in the closet. Ouch, son of a bitch. Well, it's, well, it snagged my skin tag here. Uh, felt that one, that hurt. It's like, hey, well, with a little more pain while you're talking about pain. I was about ready to tell you about the massive amount of pain. What did I do? I cut myself. Oh, that's bleeding like a sieve, too. Oh, well. And so I'm going to crawl down through the little hole. And, ooh, that stinks. And my foot slips as I'm reaching to go put it down through the hole because I was bracing it on the side of the stud to go through the hole and my foot slips and I go Whoosh! and well I stop myself with my knee like BAM I got this big ass bruise on my knees but I'm wearing pants so at least had that much taken care of yeah so uh, still got my knee skinned up, but it was like at least through the pants. That was through the pants. That's how hard I hit it. You know, it's like all 190 pounds of me went right through the hole and my knee stopped myself. Yeah. Like thud. Like, ah! Uh, about three dozen uh, colorful metaphors later. <laughs> Uh, which I, I try to keep this channel nice and uh, family <laughs> level. Uh, what I was saying was not family <laughs> level at all. And it's like I'm sitting there on the floor. I finally get to the floor. I'm sitting on the floor. And I'm, oh, freaking meow. <laughs> Equivalent, you know, but not. It was an hour, but it wasn't. Yeah, okay. And. I messaged the family. It's like, yeah, last time I did this, I remember why it was so easy. I had my daughter helping me. Who happens to be now an engineer. So. I'm bleeding into my mouth. Ugh. I got soap in my mouth. And to like, oh yeah, I did help you, didn't I? I'm like, uh -huh. so like, I can come over and help. I can get off work. I like, uh, no, don't worry about it. I'll get her done. I got it done. So I went downstairs, grabbed myself a roll of duct tape, sealed the sides around, and then I put the box on and I put duct tape around it to seal it. You know, stuff will work. You know, which is kind of interesting. Is that you know we have this blown in style um, when we first moved in it has this blown uh, insulation that barely it's like here's the joist and it's like the insulation was below the joist there's hardly any of it but it stuff is like like powder it's everywhere it gets everywhere so, and then it's like my wife and I are like this is not this is like we're getting cold air in the winter time and it's like the rooms weren't getting warm enough. So I put in uh, 18 inches of insulation, you know, the standard fiberglass insulation over top of it. Boy, that made a heck of a difference in the temperature of the house when I did that. But that stuff's still in there, filling the gaps. Man, that stinks. Really drilled myself. I think I took off the whole thing the way it feels. 
I know it's like I do it every once in a while. It has to be done, but it doesn't make it feel any better. It's kind of like when Scott the other day shaving with peg leg, and he's like doing his head shaving. He's like, <laughs> like, damn it! Yeah, and I know what he's he's talking about. Every once in a while, you snag yourself. It's blood sport, blood for the blood god. Oh, I got that thing in, crawled back out again, had it all wired up, came down and turned on. Hey, the fan works! All right, that's step one. Put a light bulb in, and then it's like, turn that on. Hey, it works. We're good to go. Another successful day. Not my first rodeo. It worked out pretty good. I'm happy. And my wife comes home and she says, Oh, I'm sorry I wasn't around to help. Like, uh -huh. It would have been one of those things where at least if someone would have been in there, it's like I would have yelled down and said, you know, throw me some duct tape, you know, for sitting on my big old tool chest. You know, I got a big red tool chest that so you can pull the drawers out. Has all my tools in it at least and then I got a uh, my carrying toolbox that I got too it's full of tools extra sets and I got a American standard set metric set and along with wrenches and stuff like that Stuff for doing body work and you name it. I learned a lot of stuff from my dad. He was a... Did a lot of maintenance and stuff like that. And he was always showing me how to do stuff. My grandfather was the same way. He was... You know, work on cars. My uncles, they worked on cars. Like, I one uncle had a body shop, pair shop. And my grandfather did the same thing. And they were always showing us stuff when we were kids. Oh, well, we can't shave with that in. I don't know. I'm all way up today. Oh, now, today, did all that work on Wednesday, this is Friday, it's like, it's Thursday morning, oh my god, it's like, I woke up, and I was like, I can't feel my legs, I can't, I can't feel my legs, my legs don't work, it's like, oh crap. And today, it's like, I messaged my wife with a little meme from Forrest Gump. I feel like I got shot in the butt talks. Like, yeah, that's like a lot of pain today. Legs. And the old family. Brother in law messages and says, yeah, how you feeling today? Uh, not good. <laughs> I hurt. I hurt a lot. And he compounds it. But I have to say, is that my pain in my legs and stuff are kind of overshadowing my little over overshadowing. Ah, can't even talk. Overshadowing. Man, I gotta say that slower. My uh lower back it hurts but not as much as my glutes
No? Okay. I think we got it. Alright there. Never be afraid to feel your face. Especially if you're trying to knock everything down. You'll find, oh, every once in a while, you'll find an errant hair. And you somehow missed. You went over it how many times, but you still miss it. Yeah, got it. feel here just a little bit of stinging right through here it's like you have something you don't use it very much that's for sure most of the time when I shave I usually don't have problems except for a few spots and if you've been watching the channel long enough you'll notice what those are Alright. Yep. Citron. Mm, man, it smells good. It's more the, the citron versus the lemon chill. The lemon chill, you get more of the uh, inside of the lemon. The, the citron, you're getting the uh, kind of a riny lemon scent I guess it's very lemony but there's a slight difference oh that smells good ah makes my day happy all right that was a citron from sterling hey I'm gonna have to do something about that bleeding nastiness Okay, that's Citron by Sterling. It's excellent soap. Let me see, got that lemon yellowish scent ours look to it. So Sterling, excellent soap, lots of good slickness. As you can see, normally I don't have any problem bleeding anywhere except for lately it's been that one spot. Always bleeding like crazy because I just peeled off a chunk of skin. And we have the Gillette uh, 1964 Slim with uh, London Bridge Blades. Third use. I'll do one more use of them and that'll probably be it for those. I, I can get, I think, six or seven, but I usually just go to four anymore. Nice blades. They work good for me. All right. So that's the shave of the day. Hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Rusty out.